I'm Jamie Grady from Kinston, North Carolina, and you're watching Bobby Guy Films. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Foul Fridays. So, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about three and a half inch shells compared to three inch shells, and 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 questions regarding a video I did prior uh, about why I don't shoot three and a half inch shells. And uh, today I'm going to go over that. We're going to cover it. I'm going to give you my reasons why I don't necessarily believe I need a three and a half inch gun or shell to kill geese or ducks, you know, vice versa. But really just some of the issues I have with it, you know, being expensive, uh, being hard on guns, uh, whatever, you know, being being a heavier shot. So, you know, you're not going to have as good as shots with three and a half because they hit you so hard. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a pussy by no means, but I'm just saying. But first, guys, uh, as most of you know, me and Flair, if you don't know who Flair is, go look him up. Big bass fisherman, turn waterfowl junkie. Uh, we, we had a big video hit. We did a bunch of, he came down and did a bunch of hunting last year and whatnot. Well, we're going to do a bunch of hunting this year. So, what we're doing is we're taking uh, emails from you guys that have fire, fire spots to hunt. We're looking anywhere, anywhere in the nation. Email right here, duckswaterfowl at gmail.com. Shoot us an email. Title the email the state or country that you're from. Now, that being said, if you, it, it, what, what we're looking for is ducks primarily. I know I'm trying to find my words here. We're, what we're looking for is ducks primarily, but goose also. Don't be afraid to shoot us an email right here that's all I can tell you for now. Got a bunch coming down the road. Can't wait to tell you guys, but do it. Send us that tasty little email. So guys, let's get into this video. First off, we're gonna talk about price because price is one of the most important things to me and I know it is to you also. Don't worry, the view numbers don't lie. So, a three and a half inch gun, as most of you know, especially if you're buying a higher end gun, guys, a three and a half inch chambered gun is going to be way more expensive than a three inch chambered gun. Now with that being said, and that fact being known, three and a half inch shells are extremely more expensive, if that makes any sense, than three inch shells. Three inch shells, I'd say average, you know, average price would be anywhere from, you know, $16 to $20. Uh, three and a half are gonna run you 25 bucks, 23 bucks. So you're always gonna be looking at a five to $10 difference depending on brand of shells that you're buying. And you know me, I love to burn up the shells. So saving five to 10 bucks a box and still being able to do the exact same thing, if not better, let's get to that part, if not better, in my opinion, is a win-win because I got to keep the green in my pocket, y'all. So guys, one of my primary points of this video is progressing and learning and getting better at hunting should be something that each and every one of you are doing every year. Every year you should look back on the last year and say, wow, I didn't know this last year and now look, it's working, I get this, you know, I why didn't I think about this sooner? You know, you think about things like, uh, better decoying birds, better scouting, getting the birds low enough into your decoys so you don't have to have three and a half inch shells to reach out and touch them. Scouting guys, I have scouting videos, a lot of you have been asking about scouting. Primary thing, I cannot stress you enough, like every other video, how important scouting is. It is the number one importance to having a successful duck or goose hunt. So each year you should be learning better scouting techniques and it should be coming pretty easy because a lot of you are young enough you're not moving away yet you're still in your hometown so if your home hometown areas have always had waterfowl you should be learning them birds because a lot of the times you're going to be doing the same thing around about the same thing as they do the last year so progressing at your scouting techniques guys it is a thing and it's something that you really need to cling to and learn like I said, guys, I have a couple videos on scouting that are pretty long and really informative. Go check them out in the Foul Friday playlist. Your shooting accuracy should always 
be progressing, just like scouting. Every year you should be noticing something that you're doing wrong. Bad trends, bad ways, just things that you've always been doing that you don't notice. You need to notice some of your bad techniques that you're using for shooting. Be harsh on yourself. Judge yourself with this, guys. Because if you're not, you're not progressing. It's just like a job. It's just like school. If you're not, you know, kicking your ego to the side every once in a while and understanding, oh God, I really biffed that all up. Like, I didn't lead the bird enough. I let it too much. I just pulled up and I whiffed it. I sky busted him. Whatever you did, you just shot into the group or you weren't really aiming right. Whatever you did, recognize it and change it constantly. Constantly, constantly understand what you're doing wrong. That's the first big piece of advice to shooting. Getting better at shooting, I can give you guys. So getting better, better at shooting, I'm rambling now. It's been a minute and 13 seconds. Getting better at shooting, it's gonna allow you to save that money, not having to buy the three and a half inch shells and using the three inch. I promise you, I promise you, I, I, I love three, three inch shells. Three and a half, they kick so much, they kick so hard that when I'm lining up for the next bird, it takes me almost twice as long to get on the next bird for me to double up, if I do. So we've covered better scouting, better shooting. Now we're gonna talk about better decoying birds. Just like just like scouting and shooting, you should be learning your spreads. Not only building your spread every or every other year, you should be learning how to set it up better. According to the wind, I stress wind constantly. Learn your wind. Birds land into the wind. I have another video on that. Go check it out. Birds landing into the wind. Your back should be to the wind most of the time, having the birds land in your face. So better decoying birds are going to keep low enough so you're not sh having those sky bus shots needing the three and a half inch shell. Sorry, I think I kind of yelled there at the end. Ooh. So to kind of put this video in a nutshell and wrap it up, uh, I more than even having to do with shells. Three and a half inch shells to me is a confidence thing. Yes, they serve their purpose every now and then with that full choke in and, and slaying snow geese. Believe me, I love that. But a lot of the times, guys, three and a half inch is just almost like a dick comparison. It's like, it's like that argument you don't want to have. Someone, oh, I'm better than you. No, you're not. Oh, I got to keep up with the trends. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to spend the money. You don't need three and a half inch shells unless you're you know you're, they're required you know if you really need them like the the high snow geese that you'll be busting in the conservation season or whatever but all i'm saying for normal duck especially duck you don't need three and a half for duck but for geese you do not need three and a half for normal goose hunting guys keep learning kick your egos to the side realize what you're doing wrong change it the next hunt keep trying to upgrade what you're doing every hunt but guys a quick reminder again if you have any fire spots and you want me and flair to come to your place and hunt with you uh email right here right here duckswaterfowl at gmail.com shoot us an email title it the state and area that you're from whether it's a duck or goose hunt and we will get back to you guys it's going to be a very exciting year I am so pumped about it. I can't even wait to tell you guys what's about to happen. Ah, cannot wait, guys. Pumped. Don't even have all the words to, to describe it. So I hope you guys have a good one. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching. I see all you new subscribers coming in. I appreciate all your guys' comments. Giving those thumbs up. I interact with you guys. I'm trying to respond to everything. I hope I am. Uh, let me know if I'm not. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Have a good weekend. Happy Foul Friday. Peace.